Hey everyone, and welcome back to Crypto Whiteboard 101, the series in which I answer your most important questions about cryptocurrencies in less than two minutes. And today we're answering the question, what is an NFT? Now, non-fungible tokens are tokens, which simply means they are blockchain assets, but they're also non-fungible, which means they have unique characteristics that set them apart. So the vast majority of cryptocurrencies and even cash that you're familiar with is fungible. So. Uh, Bitcoin, for example, there is one price for Bitcoin. Think of it as a store of value. It's a means of payment, right? If I lend my friend Steve uh, $10 and he pays me back $10, I don't care that it's the exact same $10 bill just because any other $10 bill will work just as fine. By contrast, non-fungible tokens aren't really a means of payment, they more represent ownership or a form of an asset. So crypto kitties, or we could think of the realty property that allows you to invest in real estate through tokenization. To give you an example of this, let's suppose that I lend my friend the Cryptomancer Splinterlands card, right? Now this is a very powerful card, very rare and value, very valuable, but he pays me back with a Biceratops. Now, even though he's giving me back a card, there is inherent differences between these two cards that is going to make me very upset that I got back a less valuable card. This is the difference between fungible and non-fungible tokens, right? So Bitcoin would be a fungible token on the blockchain, whereas a trading card would be a non-fungible token. Any Bitcoin is just as good as any other Bitcoin, whereas any Splinterlands card is not just as good as any other Splinterland card. Some of the benefits of NFTs are true ownership, right? So if you have a digital asset that's not necessarily an NFT, for example, your YouTube channel is a digital asset that's not a token. That can be taken down, it can't be transferred. Whereas with these NFTs, you have true ownership, you can transfer them to other people. And especially with the trading cards, you can look at the smart contracts to prove that they are scarce and they are immutable. In summary, that's a quick overview of NFTs. I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.